Hello and welcome. Uh, Nick Landon here again. And in this video, I just want to do a real, real quick video on how to, um, like, essentially split test an ad. Um, now, I've already done this for the, the Ford ad, okay? And I, I've done some testing and, and narrowed it down to what I want exactly. Now, the way I did that, and you know there's age groups and there's you know uh, other demographics that sh that you're going to want to play with and let me edit this video or uh, add and I'll show you what exactly it looks like in inside here so you can just kind of see what's going on <clears throat> so I've got my destination tab you can set it to the the default which is probably your wall or a mix of info and wall you can set to your wall your info your friends activity fan of the week uh, that's an application by the way uh, your photos and contact us this is a tab that I built I can show you that real quick and that is where I'm sending my traffic um, and the reason being is because I'm able to oops uh, oops again sorry Facebook's kind of sp uh, spaced out here um, so I'm going to show you the contact us page and where I'm driving my traffic to help me collect more not only one number one more likes but number two it's going to help me generate more information about the people that are looking at my site and it's going to help me or help them get in contact with me you know wanting more information about my products or services okay so this is a page that I designed and this is an application or a uh, what we call a tab and I can do a video on how to install that a little bit later but um, as an administrator you've got a couple different tools and I'll, I'll talk more about that in another video. That's that's the whole tab thing. But anyway, this contact us page is where people. This is my landing page essentially, and you can see here that it's set up, and they have to click um, the like button is normally up here. I'm already a fan of my uh, Facebook fan page, and let me. I'll click unlike real quick so you can see what this looks like so to the general public when they first come in this is exactly what they see okay they see the like button they are on the contact us uh, tab and this is what they see this is what I've displayed for them okay so they have to click like to gain access so once they click like boom drops you right on the page where I want you to go I'm uh, displaying information like pictures and facts about my company um, I'm also displaying a form an opt-in form where people can um, opt in for more information about land and jewelry services pricing things of that nature and I've also included um, some links to some affiliate products out there because I'm an affiliate marketer as well now these two links have absolutely nothing to do with my business nothing to do with jewelry whatsoever and um, you know I found that I, I like to kind of mix things up and just say well if they don't like any of this information here uh, maybe they'll go see about Facebook training things like that okay so you're able to manipulate these fan pages and tabs to make them look the way you want them okay so I just had I had to show you that real quick and all that is decided right in here and that's where I'm gonna send them so this ad points directly to that page um, so you know just make sure you got that nailed down wonder why I'm only getting 
1,200 people. I should be getting more than that. That's why. I need to go back and look at this ad. <clears throat> so anyway, that's that's what you see here. And um You know, the, the way I got to that point was I did some testing. And how I did the testing was I simply just created another ad. It says create a similar ad. And what that's going to do is put everything the exact, it's going to just going to copy it. Okay, copy that ad and give it to me. Now, um, you're going to do three different age groups. This is the way I, I did it and the way I recommend you do it because I got pretty good results. The first age group is 18 to 25. The second group is going to be 25 to 35. Okay. And then the third group is going to be 35 on up to 64 okay and you can see how that increases so with this particular ad and my particular focus on Ford Motor Company it looks to me like if I was you know really trying to get in there um, the the age group 35 to 64 produce more uh, estimated reach or more people that the ad would be shown to than the age group 18 to 25. Okay, you see how that changes? So my first ad was 18 to 25. And my second ad is going to be 25 to 35. kind of waiting for that to load switch it around a lot so it may not load it might be time for a preach yeah, there we go so anyway that's all I would change to this whole ad okay it's just change the ad group there or the age group I'll go down here place an order and then go back to um, here and so you'll have an ad that looks like 18 to 25 25 to 35 35 to 64 you're gonna do three ads like that so that's the age group then you're gonna come through and you're gonna do the same thing for gender okay so in this ad I want to say all men okay so then you can do men 18 to 25, men 25 to 35, men 35 to 64, okay? So essentially, by the time you're done, you just with the demographics, oops, sorry, just with the de demographics section, um, you're going to have 12. Oh, excuse me. You're going to have nine different ads all running at the same time, and they're all just going to be a tad bit different. Okay, and right away, um, you know, within a day or two, you should notice exactly which ones are performing better, you know, which ones are per performing or outperforming the others. And, uh, and then you can make a more informative decision on what type of demographics you would like to display your ads to and that's really going to give you a, a you know a cutting edge uh, to you know re really target people it's going to give you an edge over your competition 
because I guarantee you your competition is just going to throw up one ad and that's going to be it. It's gonna, they're just going to get whatever they get. But guys like me and people like you, since you're looking at, you're watching this video, people like you are the people who take the extra time to make things right. You do it right the first time and then you, you build a solid foundation and then you build on top of that foundation. So testing is critical. And, you know, that, that's how I got to where I am right here. See, I'm bidding $2. But since I'm getting a lot of clicks and my click-through rate is up pretty good, they're allowing me to only pay $0.53 cents per click. Now, my goal, and the people that taught me this, are paying, you know, $0.10, cents, $0.08, cents, $0.15, cents, $0.19 cents per click. That's where I want to go. Excuse me, I was yawning. Um, but anyway, you know, I, I, I'm going to be constantly improving and changing words, maybe adding a different picture or, you know, maybe even adding like an orange or a red or a blue square around the picture or something like that just to kind of make it stand out from the crowd, okay? So I'm constantly going to be testing. I'm going to be doing the age groups, the the gender groups and you know I'm going to be doing different ads with wording you know so like if, if I changed the word click to discover or you know um, follow this link to discover for jewelry I would do the age groups all over again I would do the gender groups all over again you know, ma both male and female and the combination. So you're going to generate another nine ads for that. Okay, so, you know, potentially to get one good ad, you could go through a couple dozen ads just testing. Okay, and doing that procedure is going to allow you to really ramp up your success rates here. And, and you know, this is critical. I mean, think about this. I've really only spent a couple dollars generating these clicks but I've gained 55 connections out of that now what's that worth to me right now well I mean to be real honest with you it's probably not worth a whole lot I mean people haven't come in beating down my doors to buy things from me I mean really what has happened is they've just liked my page uh, I mean to be to be real honest but if you look at it like this information here is an asset to me because every time I type something in this box every one of these people have a chance of seeing it and if they like that information all of these people's contacts or networks and friends lists and their networks are gonna be you know available to see that information by the way too if you have um, a page set up anything you type and post in here if you hit share this will also be posted on your main profile um, so just keep that in mind you know if you're doing something like porn and you want to keep it separate from your uh, profile you're gonna wanna you know hit this button and customize it and keep it on this page you know keep it from syndicating content um, you know so like I said I, I just wanted to touch on the testing aspect of this and you know show you what I'm into and what I'm doing and you know the the results are pretty good for me I mean for just starting I mean, I generated 68 clicks and it cost me $37. And that netted me 59 likes. Okay? And it, I mean, it may not seem like a big deal, but if I was doing this every day, and that's the last seven days. Let's look at today and see how the ad did today. Now, I changed some things and, um, you know, I, it really kind of slowed down but you know I had 15 clicks and 11 connections and it cost me seven dollars and 27 cents okay so 
you know, there, there's some tweaking that can go on there. But this is super targeted. And that's the reason why my connection rate is not too far behind my click rate. And that's a very, very good sign. There are only four people that clicked on this ad didn't like my page. And for me, um, dealing with other traffic and, and you know other ways of generating traffic, for me, this is very, very cost effective. And especially in these er very early stages of me testing my ads and manipulating them to drive these numbers up, um, not the price, but the uh, click-through rate and the clicks and the connections and as well as the social reach um, you know that that whole testing aspect is very very important so go ahead and you know create an ad test it out split test it do your age groups do your gender groups and just you know keep playing with it until you find the winning combination so um, if you have any questions just Give me a holler, you know. Uh, message me on Facebook. Um, hell, you can even Google me if you if you uh, are watching this video and you can't get a hold of me, you know, somehow. I, I don't know. You should be able to get a hold of me. I make it pretty easy. Uh, so that's pretty much all I have for now. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm forgetting. Nah, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Okay? Alright, thanks for watching.